Hi, I'm Dave Wilson. I'm the executive director of the Maryland Coastal Bays program and we do all kinds of conservation work here in the bays behind Ocean City and Assateague. And so the way barrier islands work is that they migrate gradually westward, kind of like a tank tread rolls over. And so through hundreds and in fact thousands of years, barrier islands form out to sea and they gradually move inland until they become part of the mainland and another barrier island develops. In Ocean City that's no longer possible because Ocean City uh, no longer moves. It's stuck there and all they can do is replenish the sand. And so even though it tries to roll over and we actually lose a lot of the, the west side of Ocean City with sea level rise uh, and with the tides and, and the island wanting to roll westward, uh, we can't lose Ocean City because we have several billion dollars of infrastructure. And so in Ocean City we keep replenishing the beach. Assateague is a different story. Assateague naturally migrates westward uh, as it's done for thousands of years. And so what you have on the east coast is a, is a north-south flow down to the outer banks of North Carolina and when all the sand is deposited north to south. And then so the barrier island the way it should be without an, a permanent inlet is that sand should go north to south and it should continue depositing sand and creating the barrier island every single year. But Ocean City has a really long half mile long jetty that goes out into the water and that jetty stops the sand and the sand deposits in the south end of Ocean City and then it goes around the inlet and deposits about 12 miles south, uh, 6 to 12 miles south on the island. And so the northern end of Assateague can't get any sand and so it erodes rapidly westward.